Imagine this. You take a bite of breakfast, toast, eggs, maybe coffee. A few hours later, that toast is part of your brain, the egg is rebuilding your muscles, and the coffee is powering the tiny electrical storms that let you think, feel, and move. You didn't just burn calories, you turned food into you. Every second, trillions of your cells are performing a kind of biological alchemy, converting raw energy into structure, information, and conscious experience. Your body is not a static object, it's a living factory that never shuts down, constantly breaking, rebuilding, and reinventing itself at the cellular level. So, we're basically walking power plants with emotional problems. And here I was thinking I'm just tired and need coffee. We're going to break down what really happens from your plate to your cells, how molecules become movement, how energy becomes identity, and how your body builds you, cell by cell, thousands of times per second. By the end, you won't look at eating, breathing, or even being alive the same way again. The invisible engine, from breakfast to biology. Let's start at the most familiar place, food. You eat carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, but your cells don't see toast, cheese, or curry. They see molecules. Step one, breaking it down. The journey begins in your digestive system. Your mouth mechanically crushes food and mixes it with enzymes and saliva. Your stomach uses acid and proteases to start tearing proteins into smaller chains. Your small intestine and pancreas unleash a battery of enzymes that break. Carbs, simple sugars, like glucose. Proteins, amino acids. Fats, fatty acids, plus glycerol. By the time this process is done, your meal is no longer food. It's chemical units ready to be shipped. These units enter your bloodstream, and suddenly your circulatory system becomes a high-speed logistics network, delivering glucose, amino acids, fatty acids, vitamins, and minerals to every tissue in your body. So the burger I ate last night is somewhere in my face right now? In your face, your liver, your muscles, and possibly your love handles. It's a distributed system. Step two, why energy even matters. We usually talk about calories like a moral scorecard, good, bad, too much, too little. But scientifically, a calorie is just a measurement of energy, the amount needed to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. Your body uses this energy to maintain body temperature, power muscle contractions, run ion pumps that keep your neurons charged, build and repair DNA, proteins, and membranes, drive active transport in cells. Without constant energy supply, all of those functions grind to a halt. That's why, if blood sugar crashes too low, you don't just feel a bit weak. Your brain literally can't function properly because neurons rely heavily on glucose and can't store much energy. So, food equals energy source. Energy equals the ability to do cellular work. Cellular work equals everything that keeps you alive and you. Now, let's zoom in to where the real magic happens. Mitochondrial magic, turning energy into life. Inside almost every cell in your body are thousands of tiny bean-shaped structures called mitochondria. People call them the powerhouses of the cell. And for once, the meme is accurate. What mitochondria actually do? Their main job? To turn chemical energy into ATP, adenosine triphosphate, the universal energy currency of life. Every time a cell needs to contract a muscle fiber, fire an electrical signal, build a protein, repair DNA, it spends ATP, your body uses and regenerates your entire body weight in ATP molecules every day. The same ATP molecule gets broken and remade over and over, like an endlessly rechargeable microscopic battery. Wait, my body weight in ATP per day? That sounds impossible. That's the beauty of it. You recycle ATP constantly. You're not carrying 60 kilos of ATP. You're rebuilding it nonstop like a tiny biochemical economy. The assembly line of life, building blocks from bits. Energy alone doesn't make you. Energy plus materials plus information do. Your cells are constantly using that ATP to turn raw components into complex biological structures. The raw materials. From your food, you get amino acids, building blocks of proteins, fatty acids, components of membranes and energy stores, nucleotides, the letters for DNA and RNA, minerals and vitamins, cofactors and coenzymes that help enzymes work. Think of enzymes as ultra-specialized molecular robots and these materials as the parts they assemble. If ATP is the electricity, enzymes are the machines, and amino acids are the parts on the conveyor belt. So, my cells are basically a cosmic IKEA with better instructions? Building proteins, you are what you translate. 
Inside your cells, ribosomes read the instructions in mRNA, which comes from DNA, and translate those instructions into proteins. Each protein is a precise sequence of amino acids. Change the sequence, change the shape, change the shape, change the function. Proteins then become enzymes that catalyze reactions, receptors that sense hormones and signals, structural elements like collagen, actin, transporters that move things in and out of cells, every single emotion, memory, immune response, muscle contraction, all of it depends on proteins built using energy. No ATP, no translation, no proteins, no you. Building membranes, the cellular skin. Your cells are surrounded by lipid bilayers, membranes made of phospholipids, cholesterol, and proteins. These membranes define inside versus outside, control what gets in and out, host receptors and channels that manage everything from nerve signals to nutrient uptake. Where do membranes come from? From fatty acids and energy. Your body assembles these lipids into dynamic structures, cell membranes, organelle membranes, mitochondria, ER, nucleus, vesicles that shuttle materials around inside the cell. So when people say you are what you eat, that's not a metaphor. The fats you eat become the fats in your membranes, which affect how flexible your cells are, how signals pass, and even how inflammation behaves. Building DNA, the code of continuity. Then there's DNA, your genetic blueprint. Every time a cell divides, it must copy its DNA, which takes nucleotides from food or recycling old DNA, RNA, enzymes like DNA polymerase, energy, ATP, to drive the reaction. DNA doesn't just sit there, it's constantly being repaired because damage happens all the time. Packed and unpacked to control which genes are active. All of that takes energy. You are not just born with DNA and left to coast on it. Your cells fight every day to preserve and manage that information. Cellular symphony, repair, replicate, renew. Now we arrive at one of the most beautiful truths about you. You are not the same physical body you were a few years ago. Cells die, cells divide, cells rebuild, and energy fuels the entire symphony of renewal. Repair, fighting entropy 24-7. Every second, proteins misfold. DNA gets nicked by free radicals or radiation. Membranes get oxidized. Mitochondria get damaged. Your cells deploy repair systems. Chaperone proteins refold misfolded proteins. Proteasomes and lysosomes digest damaged components. DNA repair enzymes fix breaks and mutations. Autophagy, self-eating, recycles entire damaged organelles. Think of it as 24-7 maintenance in a skyscraper. If the repair crews go on strike, the building doesn't collapse immediately, but decay accelerates fast. So when I don't sleep, eat junk, and stress all day, I'm basically underfunding the maintenance team. Replication. Replacing the old with the new. Your body is constantly making new cells. Skin cells. Replaced roughly every few weeks. Gut lining cells. Replaced every few days. Red blood cells. Replaced every approximately 120 days. Bone cells. Constantly remodeled. Processes like mitosis for body cells and meiosis for reproductive cells require DNA replication, organelle duplication, cytoskeleton restructuring, physical splitting of one cell into two. Each step is a highly choreographed, energy-intensive performance. Renewal. You are an ongoing project. When you zoom out, here's what's happening. Food becomes energy and material. Energy and material become structure and function. Structure and function are constantly repaired and rebuilt. The you you experience is the emergent result of this never-ending cellular dance. You are not a finished product. You are a process. As we move deeper into the microscopic universe inside you, a startling truth begins to crystallize. Your cells are not fixed machines. They are adaptive, responsive, evolving systems, and your everyday choices shape their performance in real time. The food you eat, the air you breathe, the sleep you skip, the stress you carry, every factor alters the rhythm of your cellular alchemy. So you're telling me my cells are basically listening to everything I do? Listening, reacting, adjusting, and sometimes complaining loudly. You replace billions of cells every day, but the quality of those replacements is determined by the energy conditions inside your body. If energy is abundant and clean, cells replicate accurately. If this journey into the hidden machinery that builds you opens your eyes, make sure to subscribe. Here, we decode the science of your body's deepest mysteries, one cellular revelation at a time.